Hey there guys and gals, this is going to be a quick video about the basics of signals, starting with the high level concept. So all a signal really is, is kind of like a radio tower. It's constantly emitting a, a radio frequency, so you can listen to like music or talk shows or whatever. And let's just say that radio station is 106.3. Now you're driving by in your car and you have to change your radio in order to actually listen for that signal. Um, you become the observer of that signal and that's really all signals are uh, it's just like a radio tower emitting like it's broadcasting some kind of information and then you have to subscribe to it or you have to uh, be an observer to it now uh, in the Godot we can kind of quickly look at this by using uh, a button and because we don't really need a sprite or anything like that, we'll just go ahead and give a quick name, uh, text on it called press me. And then we'll go ahead and add a label as a child of that. Move that up a little bit and then go back over here. Now, there are two ways to actually connect the signal in Godot. You can do it through, through the user interface or you can do it through code. If you want to do it through the user interface, uh, we're going to need to add a script. Um, so I'm just going to quickly add a script here and then make sure you have the button highlighted. Go over to the node doc, make sure you're in the signals uh, group. And then what you want to do is click on any of these signals that you actually want to use. If you hover over it, it'll tell you what the signal actually does. So I'm just going to double click on it. Now, alternatively, you can click on this connect button down here and then this little uh, modal pops up and it's asking you what do you what object do you want to connect this signal to? And then uh, down here is the method that's going to be created. So we're going to go ahead and just click create. And we here we have this method created for us. And in new in 3.2, you have this icon right here that shows that it's a connected signal method. Uh, you can also see over here in the scene tree that there's a little broadcasting icon letting you know that it has a connection. Now, in here is where we want to code whatever we want to happen when we receive this pressed signal. So for here, we're just going to access the label, access the text, and we're just going to say signal happened. That that works. Go ahead and hit Control S to save, then click on the save button, and then hit F6 to run that scene. And we're going to click on that press me, and we see the text uh, pop up. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this signal by going through the same steps, except just disconnecting it right there. Now that doesn't actually remove the method force we have to do that manually now to do to connect through code we're just going to call the connect method and then the first argument is going to be the signal that you're trying to connect to so if you're uh, using a version prior to 3.2 you will have to use quotes to actually see this kind of autocomplete uh, so we're going to connect to the pressed signal and the second uh, argument is going to be the object that you're trying to connect that first signal to. So we're trying to connect it to ourself, so we're just going to use self. And then that third uh, argument is going to be the method that gets called, well, the method that gets ran when we receive that signal. So we're just going to on button pressed. And notice that I didn't actually include the parentheses. So let's go ahead and create that method now. And then we'll just access the label again, text, and let's just say signal. Uh, slightly different. So then we're going to go ahead and run it. And the same thing's going to happen. It's that Those are the two ways to actually connect signals. Um, now what you can do uh, in order to declare like your own custom signal, you use the signal keyword. And then let's just say the now that you want a signal to happen like whenever you hit something you want to emit the signal hit so in order to actually emit that signal we'll just use the emit signal uh, method and then we'll call that signal that we just created now that pretty much covers the basics of signals 
uh, just a little more, a couple more things that you can do. Uh, you can uh, optionally pass extra uh, information along with signals. So, for example, if you want to emit more information with the your custom signal, you do it using uh, comma separated values. So, let's say we want to emit how much damage we actually did. So we'll just throw in uh, an extra argument with the emit signal, and then whatever signal or whatever object is actually listening for this signal will receive that uh, information right here as an extra value. Now, uh, not all signals may give you all the information that you need. So if you need a little bit of extra more extra information in the connect method, you can actually uh, attach additional information that's in, that the original emitting signal does not actually give you. So in order to do that, we just create an array. And let's just say, for example, let's just create a T for a text. We're just going to say, um, I don't know, this is a test, and then we'll go ahead and pass that in there, and we are actually, text to present, we're actually uh, trying to wait, what this method is expecting uh, an argument to be passed to it. Now, this that's what this is kind of serving as because we're not getting any extra information from that pressed signal so uh, you can do it like this but me i prefer static typing so i'm going to uh, specify the data type and then we're just going to use that variable just like normal and press f6 go ahead and run and then we use that data that was actually passed to us. Uh, that covers uh, most of uh, what you need to know about signals. Uh, I encourage you to ask any questions, uh, but this should get you to a good place to actually be able to read up on them and understand what you are doing. Now, again, this part right here is not required. It is mostly used when you want to pass additional information uh, along with what the emitting signal actually passes along with you. All right, and that is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover. So if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.